Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaya. If you do not know me, you can call her Yaya or Yesika, however you want to call me. And I am back with another video. Today I am doing a haul. I have never done one of these before. I'm going to show you what I bought on the day of today. Um, so, today is technically Sunday, but you will be seeing this Monday. So, this is what I bought. Today I went with my family to the mall. The first clip that you just saw was us leaving town and um yeah pretty much we just barely got back. It is pretty much I think like 8 o'clock at night so we left around I think we left around 12 so we were there for a long time and this is everything that I bought so it's kind of a combination of Ross, Forever 21, Bath and Body Works, and um, Sephora. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the smallest bag, which is Bath and Body Works. As everybody knows, everybody has these cute little charms on the side of their bag, which has germits. Well, my bag, I bought six for five for six dollars, I think it was. Yes, and no tax. Like, literally, there was no tax. I was so surprised. So, i actually keeping all the receipts. That way, I know how much money I need to keep putting in my bank account. It's kind of scary. I do have a um, calculator here somewhere. If not, I'm probably at it on paper. And I will give you, like, a duffin of what I, like freaking invested on myself today i would say waste but it's not really much of a waste because everything is for me so let's go ahead and get started let me find myself a pencil i'll find it later okay so this is six dollars i bought a pocket back which is what the brand is and this one is the coco loco it smells really good. All of these are hand sanitizers. They come in these little cute ovally things. So this is this one. You won't be able to see it because my table is like right here. My phone is literally up here. So you'll probably just see this part of me. The next one is called Purple Rain. And it is actually grape. It smells really, really good. And I love it because I just do. It smells so good. It smells like kind of like a combination of coconut and wine. I don't know if you've ever smelled that together, but it smells so good. And I know I'm weird, so that's just how it smells. This one is Hallelulu Sun. I know the words are upside down. I'm sorry. Um, this is Hallelulu Sun. Um, this one has like a beachy kind of flowery kind of tropical smell um it is based on summer that is coming up super so when i'm so excited i buy i'm going to buy like a whole bunch of summer clothes when it comes up so i'm gonna hide all those winter clothes or just sell or garage sale everything i don't know this one is watermelon lemonade i love watermelon if you did not know that already that is like my favorite fruit watermelon kiwi and banana i'm sorry like i'm like like messing with my face i'm kind of like itchy so yeah this one smells super amazing like if you go to sonic and you get a watermelon lemonade sm slush this is literally what it smells like and that slush is bomb so taste it if you haven't um the last one that i have is forever pink it is sugar kiss which it's kind of smells like a like a rose but it has like i don't know how to explain it it has like a sugar smell to it, like a sweet rose, like I don't know what to compare it to, but it just it just smells so good. It I mean all of these are really great. Um I do go through them pretty quickly because um at my work like I like get in contact with sick people. Sometimes I get in contact with people that, you know, um or just dur or after I eat and I just love to keep these around so these are all the colors it's blue clear pink purple and raspberry color so these are this and this is my bath and body works bag okay so next bag i'm gonna do is my sephora bag um they actually did not give me this bag i have a whole bunch of bags laying around so i decided to put it in this one but 
Today is my birthday month. This is my birthday month. March is my birthday month. And I had to literally ask for my birthday gift. It is, um, I'm sorry if you can't see because of this light. It is actually Tarte. It is one of their like mini Tartiest lipsticks and a blush in the color. Let me see. Uh, the lip stain is the color birthday suit. This is the color. It's literally skin color. Let me swatch that for you really quick. It is literally like skin, like a peachy pink undertoned, like really pretty color. And I'm actually wearing it right now. I have a color like this one. And this one is called Party. This is the blush to it. They are both tart. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this little thing. I have not touched it at all. Literally. So I'm going to just run my finger through it. See if it shows up. It is a very like light pink. Kind of out focus it really quick. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is right there. So yes, this is what literally what I got for my birthday gift, and I just lost the little, oh there it is. So yeah, this is the blush and the lip paint from Tarte. This one is called Party, if you really like that like pinkish shade. And then this one is Birthday Suit. Which they are very cute and they come in this thing. They are cruelty free. If you do see a little bunny like that, it's cruelty free. So I am really excited about this. Honestly, I have been going on cruelty free makeup for a while. I don't fully like use just cru cruelty free, but I am going to get there. Um, I'm going to try and get rid of like all the makeup I have right now. And then go ahead and start just using every other color and whatnot the next thing i got was a bright future which is the color and it is from sephora the label the brand and this is actually a gel concealer now i know that um gel concealers are really in right now especially the tarte and the urban decay um i really didn't want to spend that much money on just a concealer i have a concealer already but as you know mine is actually cream it's not gel or anything like that and i did used to use one but honestly i don't think it's been helping that much i haven't really noticed a big difference for my under eye or anything like that i'm trying to open it i have not opened it literally it is still in its package and for some reason it has like these little lines but it's not coming out like Literally, they don't want me to open this. Like, hello. Okay, I got it open as far as I could, but at least I could take out the lid. This is the color right here. Let me give you a swatch. That is the color. Literally, it is my color. It is um, not too dark, not too light. It's just perfect. For that and it is kind of a full coverage and I really like it um, when I first saw it I was like yes I have to have it it is a number 10 and it's called Exclare or bright future I don't know which of the two it's called but um, down here it all it says is number 10 on the very bottom of this and um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up using this. I honestly don't know if Sephora brands are cruelty free or not. I'm going to really like look into that because it doesn't ever say anything. But I'm pretty sure like it's not. I do have another Sephora little thing but it also doesn't say anything. It just has like a little eye symbol on it which I never really investigated into it no sadly Sephora brands are not cruelty free but I was willing to try this so after I use this if I don't like it I'll pass it on to my mother or you know something like that I know she'll probably get some use out of it 
but I am really, really going to start and try and be more of a cruelty free. Like, literally half of my makeup is all cruelty free. I've been checking, but I do try new things and try different things that are not cruelty free. And sometimes I feel a little guilty, but it's um just a matter of getting used to it. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got at Sephora. Okay, so next biggest bag is Ross. Now, I love Ross. I don't know about y'all guys, but I love it. Here's the receipt. Um, I did buy my sister a pair of jeans, but I'm not showing you those because I already gave those to her. Um, literally, I do not know what I would do without Ross. Ross is amazing. It has um, a good variety of plus-size clothes. And honestly, for a body figure like mine, it is hard, I'm telling you, hard to find clothes for yourself. But, hey, first, this is not a clothing item. I have been looking for this for a long time. These things have been viral for I don't know how long. Um, these are the LA Girl Con Correct Conceal and Contour. And I have been looking for this for a long time. I cannot believe I found this at Ross. Literally, I cannot. I have been to Walmart. I have been to Walgreens. I have been to CVS. I have been, you name it, and I've been looking for this. Now, Sephora, I know it doesn't doesn't really um, do these kind of brands. Or I don't think they do. I haven't seen them at my Sephora. But if your Sephora carries them, then hello. That's probably why you have them, right? But no, I have not been able to find these. And they come in my shade, perfect shade. This is medium, and it's just so amazing. Now, I know that this is, I don't think this is cruelty-free either. But I know that they are so out there that I just had to try it. This orange one, I really needed. This corrector, I really need it. Really needed it. The concealer, I'm not too sure because I just bought like I just bought the other one as I just said. So I'm kind of like going to try the new um Sephora one that I just got. If I do not like it, then I will try the LA but um, you can leave in the comment below if you've tried this LA uh, con concealer, sorry. And um, just let me know if it's good or not and I'll try it out. Maybe in a video I'll be showing you what I do with this. And that's one of the things that I bought at Ross. I cannot believe, I really, I'm still in shock that I found that at Ross. Now this next thing is a clothing. I found this really cute one piece like body fit dress and it's really it's dark navy blue but on here it literally there you go see now you can see it it is a kind of a cut just like that and it honestly this is really cute i wouldn't have seen this if i wouldn't have moved around like all these clothes that were there and I was just fell in love with it literally this is not my size I'm pretty surprised that I even fit in this this was a 12 16 I um I mean a 12 14 I'm usually 16 and this is a beautiful beautiful dress I love it so much that's pretty much what I got at Ross, other than that jeans that I bought my sister. But I am doing the total of how much money is gone invested on myself. So, I was also going to buy shoes, but I kind of talked myself out of it. Because not, I would have been broke forever. Okay, so we added that receipt over here. Now, this one is one I am really scared to look at. I know I wasted way too much on this. And honestly, I could have gone cheap, but because of the fact that I really do need good clothes and I really wanted to dress up and, um, you know, not so much dress up, but look a lot better in, you know, my clothing, I guess you can say. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is black denim that I bought at Forever 21. Now, it's just so simple. So, it's black, but it has 
a cut right here. I know when I wash it, it will look so much better. Or I'm going to adjust things. So I'll probably show you like a tutorial on how to rip your jeans and how to distress them. But this is basically a black denim jean that I just bought. And um, I'm really happy with how it fits. I mean, it doesn't fit tight. It doesn't fit any like not like com uncomfortable or something like that the next piece i'm going to show you is this one piece or this bodysuit if you can call it like that um it is a floral and it does have this bare like crisscross cut and it is a one piece i actually my brother's the one that saw this one and he loved it and he said i had to get it i had to so I tried it on, it fit perfect, and I loved the way it looked. This pattern, tell me I am living for it. This purple is amazing. Um, I don't know if I have eyeshadow and stuff for this purple, but I will find some. Will find some. Okay, the next thing I got, literally I was trying to make this into an outfit. But the next shirt is, well it's more of a sweater, but you can wear it as a shirt too. I really don't know. Um, is this like limish green sweatshirt. It has a hoodie and it is long sleeve but it's a very pretty green and orange and it says past and it's marked out and then on the back it says future. And I really like it because of the fact that I'm like so in love with the wrapper that I just had to have it. And it was just such a coincidence. But my brother's like, well, it's kind of sketchy, but it's really, it really looks good. I love the combination of this red orange and this lime green. It's just so amazing. It's so pretty. I like it. I had to get it. I didn't even look at the price tag as any of this clothes. I'm telling you. I just grabbed it. And I was like, yep, it has to be mine. This next thing is a jacket. And there's no better way of showing you than to put this on. Literally, it is super pretty super cute it is a like kind of a jeanish um cream jacket let me put this down and honestly that color i mean the color of it is just so pretty it's just something i probably never really have in my closet i don't have much browns or anything in my closet so let me just move this out the way this is the jacket completely they all still have the price tags on them because I could always just return them but this jacket is so amazing it's so cute it's so pretty it's just I don't know it's just so nice and the zipper fits I mean it's just all super cute and honestly I don't think that um, I would ever regret this buying because I mean, you can buy this, you can literally style this with anything. I mean, anything. It is just so perfect. I don't know. And then it has its pockets. So you really don't have, like, a choice to put your hand in a pocket. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the last receipt. This is Forever 21. And I'm going to go ahead and add up everything that I just bought and I can give you an exact amount of how much I literally spent on myself like I don't ever have time to spend money on myself I don't have or ever have the opportunity to actually do this for myself so it was kind of it kind of felt really good so let me go ahead and add up these numbers and then I'll show them on the screen okay so today the total of everything that I just bought is going to show on the screen right about now. Yeah, I know my wallet is literally crying, but you know what? It was hella worth it. One of these days, I will do a try on of everything that I bought on my haul for you can see exactly. Um, later on, I will do a tutorial for the new makeup that I just bought and um, there is really no way I can show you 
the germ mix is or anything the smell you you won't be able to smell it with me i totally wish you could but you're not going to be able to smell them with me so i'm going to um go ahead and put those in the bio that way you can buy um you know the smell that you really like and all that i mean it's gonna be super super good i mean it's gonna be really worth it so hopefully you like this video like subscribe hit that button down below be become a member of this channel and know that i love you so so much and i will see you in the next video bye